is from West Africa somewhere. Okay, he's from uh, he's from Ghana. He's from Nigeria. He's from West Africa somewhere. Hey, and what do you do? I have a rental car business, a real estate business, and I um, have a clothing business online. Okay, the girl, the girl has her stuff. The girl has her stuff. Now, what are some things that you like to do for fun? I love going swimming. Looking at that figure, I love to go for swimming where she loves going for swimming. <laughs> now, what are some of your deal breakers? Um, I need a man of God. I um. You need a man of God. And you have come on a pop the balloon show. Sister Tony, we need to talk. As a man of God myself, I can tell you for a fact, you are not finding a man of God anywhere near that kind of place. The best place to find us is at our church members' house, the female ones, on Friday, Saturday, before church. There you go. And then I'll have you pop those three, and then I'll go ahead and ask you why we ended up popping. So just whenever you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can all tell the reason why she popped that guy's balloon. We can all tell. Don't say it. Do not write it in the comments. Just think it. We all know it. That guy is also some kind of West African. I haven't watched this yet, but that guy is some kind of West African. And Mark, what do you do? I'm a musician. I write songs and I sing. Okay, you know what? We know the reason why she popped him before, but him saying that she has dodged the bullet. Okay, musician. Don't even try it. <laughs> Baby, let's just face it. Only thing she needs is good dick and conversation. The sad thing is that right now, she is going to appear in a song. For sure. He's going to put her in some song. And so, Tony, why did we end up popping his balloon? Moment of truth. Um. I mean. <laughs> Okay, see ya. <laughs> we all knew it, you know, and even she didn't want to say it. So I want to admonish you right now in the name of the Lord. Don't say it in the comments below, please. You know, I typically don't go for heavier set guys. Oh, she said heavier set. Okay, I was thinking fat, but she's a better person than me. And all of you guys, you're thinking fat too. Um, I thought she was attractive and I liked some of the things she said about looking for a leader and willing to be submissive in her, in her relationship. This is pain, I can tell because he's a musician, so he needs somebody to fund his music career and also somebody who would be submissive. So she's the perfect one for him, but for her, some of you know, some of you, the girls, over there, you know, and shout out to our upcoming artists. Okay, I'm joking, please. You are going to make it, you sell out the O2 Arena, not in Jesus' name. I can't say that because you don't know whether it will happen or not, but I'll, I'll pray for you. Yeah, my name is Namdi and I'm 29. I, what did I say? He's some kind of West African, he's Nigerian. Okay, now Tony, why do we end up popping his balloon? I, I don't really like the outfit. It always sounds ridiculous to me when they say I don't like you because of your outfits. But then thinking about it right now, I kind of understand because in this situation, for these things, you are basically judging a book by its cover. That is how this thing is set up. So you don't really have that much information apart from the look of the person and the way they talk and those, those kind of things. And Sean, what do you do? I am a content creator on YouTube and an entrepreneur. She didn't know, but she dodged another bullet. Okay, you're going to date a content creator. Trouble. My life. <laughs> so, Tony, why did we end up popping his balloon? Um, you look great. Um, I love the outfit, and you look very nice. Um, it's just, I'm a little taller than you in heels. And but wait, the, the guy standing next to her, the one wearing the red cap, is about the same height as the person she's saying she's taller than. The guy with the red cap, okay? Yeah. He looks like what we thought was cool in 2016. Like, the guy... <laughs> with like, the bag, that nothing yeah, is yeah. <laughs> I'm Gerard, I'm 26. Okay. And Gerard, what do you do? Um, uh, I do cyber work for the government. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's, he's doing cyber security in the government. I don't think anybody over there is safe. I don't feel safe. I feel like he's watching this video right now. If she chooses him, he's going to track her every single move throughout the relationship and beyond. This is not safe. He shouldn't be over there. So in the next three to five years, I'll be done with my master's degree. And yeah, I'll be a uh, senior level in the government for cyber security, so. Cyber security for the government. They're in America, by the way. So, you know what that means? This guy, he looks like one of those 90s R&B singers. Crazy like runs. Mario. Mario's like a 2000s, like 2002 there. But still. We can have your name and age. My name is Daryl, I'm 27. And Daryl, what do you do? Um, I'm a content creator. Oh, Debbie, Debbie, it's not happening. In the second round, she's going to come to um, I'm a content creator, artist, as well as an entrepreneur. Wait, 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 hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Bro, he's a content creator, a musician, and an entrepreneur, bro. No, 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 no. He's, he's, he's done. 
No, 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 no. Um, in the next three to five years, I look to influence the younger generation to be better people. That is not a thing. <laughs> Brother, man, that's not a thing. It's not a job. It's not a plan. We are the world. That's what you want to do. That's your plan. <laughs> Hi, my name is Chi. I'm 28. I said like, this guy is West African. some kind of West African. Let me see. Chi Buike is Nigerian. What did I say? What did I say? We, we know our people. We know our people. I see you, I'll see you. Yeah, as far as goals in the next three to five years, um, I'd like to see myself married in the next three to five years and um, definitely maybe owning a home, so looking to get some property. Um, also kind of further my investments, um, just growth, uh, financial literacy, things that I'm working on. Right? Niger boy, correct Niger boy. Is that guy listening? Plans, want to own a home, get my financial investment. Not want to inspire the world. Are you crazy? <laughs> Kingston, what do you do? Um, I manage the uh, security team. Okay. I want to, I, we need to understand, you need to be clear. Are you the kind of security that protects the company or the establishment? Or are the kind of security people hire when they are going into the establishment to get things? Are you the kind of security that causes other people to hire security? Let us know, please. And go ahead and answer a question. So my goal for right now is like just to make more money than my previous year. No, 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 no. This guy is sketchy. Okay, make more money. How? Yeah, so uh, I'd like to be like uh, HR manager in the next probably two years or so. Uh, I'd also do Airbnb, so probably like another property. I have one right now in Austin. And okay, look like they have a good link. She has real estate. She has Airbnb. I think they are the, they are the best match for HR. I think, but I have a feeling the fact that he's right for her is precisely the reason she's not going to choose him. I'm Red. I'm 30 years old. Okay. And Red, what do you do? I'm an electric vehicle specialist. I work on gasoline vehicles and electric vehicles. Okay, I mean, that's a, that's a good job. Um, in the next three to five years, I want to have my own shop with uh, all the cars. You know, the mechanic's mm -hmm. got a bad name. I'm trying to clear that name up, you know. I like him, though. He seems nice. Yeah, he seems like he's very happy in life. He's like the kind of person that he has good vibes. Yeah, know? he has He's good funny yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah. No, we, we have judged him wrongly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. Okay. What the hell did I say? The one who's the perfect fit does not get chosen. Okay. And well, what did I say? Correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Content creator and musician and you want to be an entrepreneur and inspire the world. You are not coming anywhere close to anybody. Since we're here, let's start here. So my agenda pop and Daryl's. Um I don't know. You know. You know, but you don't want to say it because you want to be respectful. I understand. We all know it. It's so, it's okay. It's fine. He's really cute. I love your eyes. Um, I guess the shoes. Ah! No, 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 no. <laughs> she can't say the real reason, so she has to say the shoe. It's, the shoes are not bad. Those are nice shoes. I ended up popping because the goals and aspirations just kind of didn't align with mine. Okay. Um, Wait, 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 did align how? He has, he does real estate. How does he not align? Oh, I thought good. we were both in the rental business. <laughs> right? Right? I thought the same too. You're both in the rental business, so you can build something together, but... <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, but... It's just... I don't know. Gotcha. Okay. That's true. <laughs> She's not in the right relationship choice business, I guess. Okay, Red, how many kids do you have? I got one kid. Okay, okay. Yeah, and he one years old, so he, he pretty fresh. <laughs> I have to pop your balloon. No. That's all right. One year old, it means the baby mama is very, very active in the situation right now. The girl is not trying to deal with that. I'm sad. I was rooting for him. Yeah, actually, he's actually like a nice guy. You got a question? Okay. Let me just walk all the way back here. <laughs> Go ahead. So how often do you wear makeup? This guy keeps confirming the thing. How often do you have your original face? And how often are you in a disguise? How often do you look like you? Because when we are going out, sometimes we're going to need you to have a different face for the operation. I don't, actually. I only wear makeup, like, in, uh, on events. Disqualified. He's not going to pick her because she she's wearing her original face a lot of the time. For In his line of work, that's not good. When you put makeup on, do you, like layer a lot does it take you like hours to put makeup on or does it take you like 10 minutes 30 minutes how fast can a security system determine that this is your face how much layer do you have on it typically it takes about a couple hours yes you are gonna be too slow for the operation when we are going out we need it to be fast okay you can't be taking hours for makeup please you need that disguise a little bit so that the systems cannot find you but you need to be fast also. The money has to be gotten. But I really feel like it's all on the man. Like, I feel like you have to teach me how to cater to you, you know. So it just, it just depends the case-by-case case scenario, like, 
on the type of person. And he's Nigerian, you know, he's Nigerian. He doesn't have time to waste. He's looking for money. You know what I'm saying? So if he has to now come and be teaching you, I, I don't know his name. I don't know where he's from. I don't know the tribes like that. He can't be sitting down there teaching you those kind of things. He's making money. He comes back home. You come and do your thing. You should know already. Yeah, wasn't really feeling her answer. Um, obviously, it's genuine. It's authentic. That's how you feel. But I feel like, you know, things that you want to do for your partner shouldn't really be predicated on what he does. I feel like you should just maybe know, are you a gift giver? Do you like quality time? Do you, you know what I mean? I feel like it's just innate. Do you hear that? It's just innate. You should know because he's bringing the money home. You should know what to do. <laughs> this guy's a very, he, I like the way he talks. He's very well spoken. He has a nice way of putting things. But as a Nigerian, the Nigerians will know. They know what he's saying in the Nigerian way. He's just packaging it nicely because he's a very, you know, he has, he has a good head on his neck. All right. Well, Tony, unfortunately, that is all of the balloons <laughs> popped. But we do thank you so much for coming on. Hey, fine girl, pal. Look at the girl's body, pal. But she's going home alone. This thing, it disproves the thing they say about men that all we look at is body lies. At least in this case. It's true because behind the scenes, these guys are all going to DM her. I'm willing to put my head on it because <laughs> if you look at that thing over there, could it be that she may have developed interest for the guy who repairs the cars because she rents cars? The guy who wears the red car, he said he repairs cars. Yeah, yeah so maybe yeah. Yeah, you can fix the cars for free yeah, because yeah, you are getting yeah, Punani, yeah. you understand? <laughs> um, yes, I can see us kind of connecting. Uh, okay. You know, he's he looks nice. Thank you, yeah. thank you. You look nice too. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. I still want to ask you to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell i will ask you to leave the comments below let me know what you think about the video let me know what you think about this thing um you guys really like the last one so i'm doing more but this time i decided to go to america let me know what you think i was going to say that the boys should let me know in the comments below if they will go for the girl but i know your answer is yes based on what you saw the very first time she walked in don't even try to do any kind of oh i wouldn't like it because of what she said your answer is yes you're going to go with that girl i really love the girl's dress like for real the girl knows how to dress but i still love it as much as i love you guys and i'll see you guys soon in another video people are gonna never ever ask you people are gonna never ever ask you to like and subscribe but you go fish share my video